All right, bitches, back for some more Dokkan battle, and a lot of shit is going on again. Wow, I didn't expect things to pop off like this. All right, so real quick, um, just going over new characters. Uh, I haven't recorded since I got chilled, right? No, I don't believe I have. So we got chilled. This guy will be crucial in getting LR Goku, but still waiting on a fucking tournament. Hello, motherfucker. Now, chilled, uh, we got him up to Super Attack 7, which will be good. Uh, I've also got this cell right here, which can Dokkan into Perfect Cell. That'll be cool. Uh, if we head over to Summon, bam! We got Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks arriving on Global Dokkan. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is a monster. I will not be using any stones on our boy Gotenks, however, because he is going to be in the Vegito Blue banner and in some other banners in the future. But really, you know, the three big ones I want are Rose, Goku Black, Buhan, and Omega Shenron. So, you know, we're saving our stones for that. Uh, we have a number of events that we're going to have to knock out. Uh, we got the Strongest Rivals. That's what we're going to start today. Uh, we've already done these. These came back. Uh, we got to do the Chilled event. Uh, the Cell Boss Battle. That's very, very easy. We could crush that. Uh, the Beerus Boss. Now, I have done this. This is tough. Beerus is not that easy um, because he has a similar mechanic to Brawly. So my lack of, you know, I don't have any Super Saiyan God Super Saiyans, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue. That hurts. I really could use some of those. Um, I do want to record an Epic Showdown still. And then, of course, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks boss. Now, I was very, very worried about the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks boss. Um, but he's actually not so bad. Uh... Because he's tech, I was thinking, like, oh boy, you know, here we go, a, a tech boss when I'm, you know, my best team is running an agility team. However, uh, Gotenks has, it's a really interesting fight. I can't wait to record that one. Uh, so there will be no uh, concern there. All right, let's just pop a Gogeta. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, and let's, uh, let's just use some random people, you know, kind of like we've been doing. Uh, we'll go with a Gogeta. Let me go by level. I just want to use uh, different characters. Actually, you know what? Uh, rather than the Gogeta, bo uh, Gogeta friend, let's bring a friend of like a super we haven't seen. We'll bring Chilled. Uh, where's that Cell? We'll bring him. Let's bring. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's bring Teen Gohan. Let's bring Super Saiyan Vegeta, and let's bring uh, this Tech Beerus because. Believe it or not, this tech Beerus, we're actually going to be able to Dokkan Awaken him into an SSR Beerus. That'll be dope. All right, there's that Super Saiyan God Goku. We could check him out. Uh, Goten, Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out that uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, we'll pop a Senzu, and then let's just get, like, a Launch, Mr. Satan, Shu. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so this... uh. Cooler story event, obviously, this is going to be a pretty easy thing to record. Uh, this, obviously, is one of the earlier story, like, events where the story only happens on normal difficulty. So, obviously, we're going to crush this. And here we have, uh, you know, Bardock and shit. Yeah, we just saw this. Hello, Frieza! This, of course, uh, this event is following the first Cooler movie when he arrives on Earth to challenge Goku. Yep, and there's Goku. Bye, Goku. Off to Earth you go. And Bardock is like, yeah, hey, Frieza, fuck you. And Frieza's like, hey, I'm gonna send you back in time for no reason. And Bardock is like, Nani? That's not canon. Oh, no. And back you go into the past, motherfucker. Let me tell you, I really hate people who are talking about, like, oh, Dragon Ball Super, the next arc is gonna have Bardock. It's like, no, it's not. The next arc is gonna have Brawly. It's like, where do you boys get this info? Brawly is not gonna be in Dragon Ball Super, goddammit. Although, I do still love the idea of them fighting, uh, like, an evil Super Saiyan. I think that's one reason I like Goku Black so much. Alright, yeah, so here's where, uh, Cooler's basically version of the Ginyu Force. They see Goku headed towards Earth, and it's like, yeah, should we shoot it down? And the dude is like, well, fuck yeah. And then knuckleheaded Cooler pops in the screen, and he's like, no, nah, man, my bitch ass brother let that happen. I'm not gonna clean up his mistakes. And it's like, okay, Cooler, 
I certainly hope you don't have a flashback to this moment later on, regretting it. That would sure suck, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, cooler. We'll see uh, how much you like that. So the main purpose of this story event, uh, basically every single fight gives us medals to Dokkan awaken um, an intelligence cooler into final form cooler, which I still, I just love the design of uh, cooler's final form. It's really, really awesome. Now, I do, I did pull that intelligence cooler, so I do have him. And uh, I actually have most of the medals required to Dokkan him. Whenever it comes to like Dokkan awakening someone, I'm probably gonna do that on screen because it is pretty cool. Uh, okay, yeah, I gotta beat this guy. I need his medals. Uh, Salza or Thalzer. However the fuck you say his name. Uh, definitely need to always go for money. Money is just such a pain in the ass. Like, Dokkan Awakening certain characters cost, like, over a million. Like, I, I was looking at it. Like, I was trying to Dokkan Awaken, uh, I think it was King Vegeta I was looking at. And yeah, it's like over a million. I'm like, holy shit, like... Dokkan Awakening is so damn pricey. Okay. Wait a minute. I didn't pick the right team. God damn it. When I switched back to get uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, I didn't pick up the right uh, team. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, let's have Cell do this. And let's have Cell... Let's check out Cell's uh, special attack here. So I now do... I do have two uh, first form Cells. But uh, this one right here will Dokkan Awaken into Perfect Cell. Now, in order to do that, I have to beat the uh, Cell boss three times, which isn't so bad. Um, I fought the Cell boss twice. Uh, I beat him pretty easily the first time. The second time I lost. Uh, but, I mean, <laughs> that's because the Cell boss is a tech. Really, all three of the bosses right now are tech. Uh, Beerus... Cell and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And Cell's ultimate did 120,000 to Vegito. Or more, you know, basically 80% of my total life. Uh, I wasn't anticipating that. So, like, now I know when I do the event that Cell is capable at any time of just lobbing off 80% of my health. So, like, when I record it, I'll be prepared. But, um, obviously, when I'm doing these bosses off screen... I'm trying to not use like ghosts and King Yamas and Babas since they're so they're such valuable items. I just don't want to use them. So I do run into occasions where these bosses catch me because I'm being so stingy with my items. But there's just so many tough events. Like I really badly need the tournament to come back because that's a good way to get items. And also the Bulma event will show up. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna spend like 20 dragon stones and grind that Bulma event and just get in incredible items. Ghosts, Babas, King Yamas, Senzu, Dendes, Weeses, Icaruses, all of those really good items. I'm just gonna grind the fuck out of that event and I'm gonna use tons of dragon stones to do it. I don't care. Alright, so definitely wanna see Super Saiyan God Goku here. Uh. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, like that. Yeah, so he'll easily get it. Cool, okay. So we'll do that. Bam. And now we'll see Super Saiyan God Goku's attack. Now, um, I've heard people say that this Super Saiyan God Goku is better than the one I've got. But the one I do have is an agility, so it helps out a lot. Oh, god damn it, Vegito. Oh, no! <laughs> we were gonna see Super Saiyan God Goku? I should have had him go first. Yeah, that's a mistake. Oh, well. We'll get an opportunity to see it again in the future. Uh, this is also a part, basically, you know, Gohan, Krillin, everyone, they're having like a little camping trip. And then all of a sudden, Cooler and his boys just show up and it's like, whoa, what the fuck? And uh, again, none of the movies really fit into like the canon story of Dragon Ball. But the Cooler one does have the smallest amount of discrepancies, I think. I think it actually does fit pretty good, except for Goku, like, 
having trouble busting out the Super Saiyan form. That's about the only problem the movie has. No medals. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I'm having trouble getting these last couple medals. It's bullshit. Because, like, I look at the thing and it's like, oh, yeah, medals galore. It's like, okay, well, go ahead and fucking drop medals any fucking day now. All right, we've seen Janemba, Gogeta, 16, I've got... Oh. Yeah, we can check out this Vegeta right here. That sounds cool. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll use this team right here. Okay, ha! Ah, Nani Goku? Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, let's, you know, use our scouters and check his energy. Looks like he's the one who probably was the one who beat a Frieza. Power levels are pretty low. I hate that these fuckers never encounter... Like, none of these Frieza soldiers, or cooler soldiers, I guess, they never encountered people... Like, yeah, this dude, he figured... He, he realizes what's gonna happen, but... They're always so sure. Like, oh, they could change their power levels. Like, really? No aliens were able to do that? That's kind of weird. Alright. Oh, look at that gold capsule right there. Um... I do always want to get these rare awakening medals. These are like the toughest ones to get. Uh, cause every awakening always costs so many of them, but you don't really get them as easy as you get some of the others. Uh, all right, so we'll get this uh, super rare training item. That's good. Now, one thing that is useful about basically the fact that I'm not doing any summons for a long time, the next time I do summons, Maybe I'll try and get, like, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. I might. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I would like to see this, uh, Vegeta's ultimate attack. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, I might put a little stone in a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. He would be pretty good to have for the agility team. But the next time I'm actually probably gonna be doing summons, I'm thinking, is going to be for Buhan. Uh, I badly want to get Buhan for a villain team. And I also would like to um, create an intelligence team as well. Now, now that I think about it, there is a Turles uh, rebirth banner coming up sometime soon uh, with doubled SSR rates. I may dump stones into that until I got Turles. Uh, I've heard that you can get Turles pretty easy in the events. So I feel like it wouldn't be that big of a waste of stones to do that. I, I may, I may. I, I don't want to, you know, do 100% confirmation that I'm going to, but uh, I feel like there's a good chance I'll do that. Uh, Gohan, I don't think is going to be able to get his ultimate here. I guess if we blew all these, he could do it. Or if lunch would give us something like that. Good, good job, girl. Yeah, so I can see why that lunch could be kind of useful. The fact that she can randomly give a lot of key there. And Wablamo. Alright, cool. So you fuckers are dead. And then we got Gogeta back here for no reason. To give us key, that's basically it. Wild Rush Blaster. Oh, that's the movie uses against uh, third form Frieza right there. Okay. I don't know why they gave that to Team Gohan. I mean, they could have given him just like a Kamehameha, but whatever. All right, so we're done with that stage. Yeah, the, the cooler event doesn't get too exciting until Cooler himself actually pops down and is like, hey, fuckers. But until that point, we just, oh, yeah, well, there he is. Hey, Cooler, how you doing? Oh, Frieza. Yeah, so I guess I, I don't really blame them for, like, they all do this in this movie where they're like, oh, shit, it's Frieza. Because he does look exactly like Frieza, just his colors and his facial structure are slightly different. But for the most part, he does look very, very similar to Frieza. And this, I feel like this is the, the problem I have with this movie is that... So, Cooler basically goes to attack Gohan. And uh, Goku basically jumps in front of it and gets dealt like a death blow. And he's basically unconscious for the entire movie until the very, very end when they're able to give him a Senzu. And then he fights Cooler. Like, 
way too much of the movie for me is just fucking around trying to get Goku a Senzu. I hate it. Okay, so uh, we could knock out two Korin Sour. Why not? Wablam. And, oh, yeah, that's actually... You know what? Since I was talking about him, let's uh, pop him on. This is the Turles I was talking about right here. This is the one I want to get. Uh, he is a very good stunner. And he gives key to everyone. So he's a pretty good support unit, actually. Uh, I feel like he would fit very well on both uh, an intelligence team and on a villain team. So I might... I really might pop, like, 100 stones into that uh, Turles Rebirth event. Like, I'm really thinking about it. The only thing is, I feel like a lot of the other stuff I could, like... I only would want him. Like, a lot of other SSRs... Like, the stuff I want is, like, the Dokkan Festival SSRs. So, stuff that I could get in that cooler event I wouldn't really want so bad. I mean, I guess there is, like, an agility... Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who I would love to get. Or I guess actually a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta would be nice. Because I'm always going to have to grind these bosses. And getting certain cards to help these bosses out would be cool. Alright, yeah, so uh, Daddy is not doing too good. Oh, no! Alright, so yeah. Uh, so now what's going to happen is Gohan is going to get on Icarus, this dragon thing. And we are going to go and get some Senzu. Yeah, I won't let the Scouters find me, but of course, guess what? The fucking Scouters will end up finding him. Go, Han, you klutz. <laughs> Alright, so this is a pretty easy mission. Considering all we really have going on here is fucking around with the Yajirobe. The Yaj Oh, poor future Yajirobe, man. That ending to the the future Trunks arc in Dragon Ball Super so so fucking disappointing. I can't believe how disappointing it was. Future Yajirobe was a little bit redeemed, but did they care? Nope. His ass got killed anyway, along with the entirety of Trunks' timeline. How wonderful. What a great ending to that arc. Psych, it was not great. Also, uh, thinking about it now, I feel like... Hold on, let's see. What path are we going to... It doesn't matter. Oh, there's a gold capsule there. Yes, it does. Um, a lot of the tension in that arc seemed to go away when Goku Black uh, fused with Zamasu. At the time, I was real pumped about it. But in hindsight... I think it actually might have been a bad idea to have them fuse. Because Zamasu is just not as threatening as Goku Black. Alright, hopefully we get a 2 right here. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Damn. Alright, let's just grab this 6. Because common support items really aren't usually that good. And a 5, whatever. Alright, so Gohan makes it to Korin Tower. Thanks, Dragon. So what the first movie that Icarus appears in is the Tree of Might, correct? And then he shows up in the cooler movie. He shows up in some filler in uh, Dragon Ball Z as well, which is so dumb because it's like, well, wait, his friendship with this dragon, like the Tree of Might movie does not fit into the canon at all. I mean, I suppose you could say that the Tree of Might took place after Frieza came to Earth and Trunks took him down, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, okay, and also, by the way, Corrin, Corrin is being a little bitch here where he's like, yeah, you can't just cheat and fly to the top of Corrin Tower, and it's like, oh, come on, Corrin. We are not at the beginning of Dragon Ball anymore. You sense cooler on Earth. You know what he's here for, Corrin. Like, quit trolling right now. Corrin, Corrin is able to tell that Cooler is here. He knows Goku needs a Senzu or else the Earth is fucked. Yet Corrin continues to troll us here. And it's like, all right, now we're going to fight Yajirobe for no reason. Very easy fight, though. All right, let's just have my boy Chill go ahead and take this down. 
Uh, da, 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 bam, right there. And that should be a one-hitter quitter. Um, because I've been raising chilled super attacks since he's going to be so valuable against LR Goku. Death ball, bitch! Oh, wow, okay. Uh, eventually I'll be able to get, uh, chilled super attack up to 15. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to grind out, uh, more chilleds. So it's not really quite so bad, uh, getting that super attack 15. Alright, that's enough, motherfuckers! Okay, so... Corrin is pleased with our powers. That's good. I'll let it slide just this once. You damn liar. Lion cat right here, man. I swear. Alright, so now that we have the Senzu, we could go back and, you know, say, Hey, Goku. Time for you to clean up our mess, like always. Yeah, Gohan is cool. He's not coming back, though. I wish people would realize this. Toriyama is very satisfied with how Gohan's character arc ended. I just wish people would understand. <laughs> They're going to keep teasing you, but I, I just don't see Gohan... Wow, he got three shoes. Okay. I just don't see Gohan coming back. It doesn't seem realistic to me. Uh, all right. So next time we will continue on the cooler events. Uh, I guess that's it for today. And coming up soon, we'll be doing some of these bosses, which obviously are... You know, very, I'm very excited to do some of these boss fights. Later, bitches!